Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are using the pathfinding service to create an NPC that can seek a target. So if we press play, you'll see that this NPC just moves towards this red brick, which is the target. We can also move something in between the NPC and the target and the pathfinding service will calculate that or it'll take that into account in its calculations and it will move around it. So if we press play, he will go around it and move to the target. And so yeah, it's pretty simple, uh, but it's extremely effective. And if you're making AI for your, for your game, you're probably going to be using the pathfinding service. So this will be useful for many of you, I, I think. So let's just get started. Go to your workspace and add in a part. Rename this to be target. Move this somewhere, anywhere, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna change the brick color to be red. And then now we want to create an NPC. So select your workspace, go to the avatar tab, go up to rig builder. I'm going to do an R, it doesn't matter, you can do R15 or R6, truly up to you. Um, I'm going to do an R6 and I'm going to use my avatar to, to make it. Alright, now position the avatar wherever you want it. going to rename mine just to be NPC and we're gonna add in a script I'm gonna rename the script to be NPC path finding script let's put a comment at the top for what it is First thing we want to grab is the pathfinding service. Then we want to grab a reference to our NPC, which is just script.parent. And we want to grab a reference to our destination which is workspace.target and then we want to make a function to move towards the target and we are passing through a target position and the first thing we need to do inside of the move to target is create a path to the target. So we will say local path equals pathfinding service colon create path. And inside of here, we're going to do curly brackets. And then the first thing we set is the agent radius. And we want to set the agent height. And then agent can jump. We want to set that to be true. You could do false if you don't want it to be able to jump. Set the jump height. And the agent max slope. And this is the maximum uh, angle of the slope that it can uh, travel on, that it can move on. Mm -hmm. 
All right, perfect. Now we want to compute the path to the target. And to do that, we just say path compute async npc pass through the npc dot humanoid root part dot position comma and pass in the target position dot position After we compute the path to the target, we want to check if the path was successfully computed. So we'll say if path.status equals enum dot path status dot success, then local waypoints equals path colon get waypoints and we want to move the NPC along the waypoints so we're going to use a for loop for this We'll say npc dot humanoid colon move to waypoint dot not destination waypoint dot position and we also want to say npc dot humanoid dot move to finish colon wait else print no path found and then outside of this function all we got to do now is just move to target and pass through the destination which is our target part and that right there should get us moving to, towards the target, get our NPC moving towards the target. So let's hit play. And he is moving towards the target. Let's make sure he stops. Let's put a wall in between our agent and the target. Let's hit play. And he will go around the wall to get to the target which is fantastic, that's what we want. And if we lower the height of this, let's hit play and see what happens. I honestly don't know. It looks like he's gonna go try to jump over it maybe. Yep. So he just jumped over it if it's too low. Or he just walked over it. I don't know. I set the agent height to 2. I really don't know the best value. I'm just playing around with the settings. I encourage you to do the same thing. Just play around with these settings. Uh, till you get something you want. I want to see if he's actually jumping or not. No. And yeah, I just encourage you to play around with the settings until you get something you like, but for the most part, those settings are pretty good. Uh, moves towards the target. If there's a wall that's tall enough, it will move around the wall. If you get the wall just right, he will just kind of get stuck on the wall. 
like he will try to just go through it and then he won't go through it in a future video we'll make it so he can jump over the wall um maybe i don't know we'll we'll probably we'll probably extend this because i have a feeling y'all are going to want to see more on this you're going to want to see a better pathfinding npc if you do leave a comment just let me know what you want to see and i will do my best to add it in a future video but yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.